our adventure in Sri Lanka was continuing, and we were now in one of the most famous parts, the journey from Kandy to Ella. There are multiple options for that, but the one we opted for was to drive from Kandy to Nuwaraelia, and then take the train from Nuwaraelia to Ella. This allowed us to have the best experience ever, as from Kandy to Nuwaraelia, we were able to stop at the Ambuluwawa mountain hill, the Punaela viewpoint, and the Labukelier tea factory, while still having one of the most famous train journey in the world, until Ella, and for the best part of the track. We opted to stop overnight in Nuwaraelia, but you could easily do the road from Kandy to Nuwaraelia and then take the train from Nuwaraelia to Ella in one single day. And that's actually something we would recommend doing. This first video will be about the journey from Kandy to Nuwaraelia. We woke up to a beautiful day. After some yoga, it was time for breakfast on the rooftop. There, we met a Swiss couple doing a road trip in a tuk-tuk. That was quite interesting. We then hopped on the car and started our journey toward Nuwaraelia. Heshan, our driver, was the host from our accommodation in Kandy. He offered to drive us the day before when we arrived. We must say that he was the best and the most awesome driver we had in Sri Lanka. His English was really great and we discussed so much with him. Exchange idea and learn a lot. Help to us. Mm -hmm. Mm. I think we need that, like you know, like in <laughs> yeah, when we go there, kind of a hope or yes, uh, yes. you know, like it's and we can get the confidence, right? Not a real lighting, but yeah. we can go when we go there. We can get the confidence. Yeah. Our first stop was right outside of Kandy, the Ambuluwawa mountain hill. There we stop at the main gate and then took a tuk tuk to the tower. What is beautiful? It's a big city, but they conserve the nature. Yeah. That's nice. All right. And so, the ascension begins. There is still, it's, it's nice. It's not too hot. No. The little wind, it's very nice. <laughs> ah. Thank you. <laughs> super narrow the stairs, super fun. <laughs> I can't even like her. Uh... Is there a room there, Tina? Yeah. Yeah. Gets more technical here. Oh. Thank you. 
<laughs> no more. <laughs> so it's the top here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, he's not looking at you. Look at Alright, so our first stop of the day was the Ambulu Wawa a mountain hill, uh, which is actually a viewpoint. It's quite recent. They, uh, they built that place uh, well, only for the view, and it's super fun actually to do. There are uh, like stairs going all around the towers, and it's super, super narrow. So we are lucky there. There, were, there weren't that many people actually. Yeah. So <laughs> that was cool. So yeah. And the view was stunning. The, the view was yeah was super nice. You can really see all the uh, well, the surrounding, the whole region actually. Uh, candy and uh, yeah. around. So it was super nice. And actually to, to get to the tower, well uh, we got drop off at the bottom of the that's here. the mountain hope you, yeah. Um, and then we took a uh, tuk tuk for one thousand five hundred rupees. Uh, back and forth so the guy dropped us at the foot of well the kind of tower a parking yeah uh, spot the and parking. then he's waiting for us now so now we're gonna go back on the tuk-tuk go back down and then hop on our car uh, with our driver and continue and yeah there uh, there is a cost also to enter in that uh, mountain tower and which is 2000 rupees per person And we definitely recommend doing it. <laughs> yeah, it was a blue one, not the red one. <laughs> okay. The road toward Nuwaraelia was simply beautiful, and passing by so many tea fields and plantations. Our next stop was the Punaela viewpoint, where we went on the rooftop of a shop, and from where we had such a stunning view. We could even see two waterfalls. Next and along the way, we also discussed with Roshan about train tickets. We asked him at last minute if he could arrange tickets, and he managed to get us tickets from Nuwara Elia to Ella the next day in the afternoon. He got us third class ticket, through a travel agency with delivery of the tickets to our hotel in Nuwara It was more expensive, but at least we got tickets. Oh, because 8,000 it's... Uh, yeah, yeah, it's one, one person, per person. Yeah, 8,000 it's uh, what? It's 25 uh, dollars. Yeah, but you, when you go to the website, the yeah. ticket website, they, they show in that price. Per person, tw I think 20 or 25 rupees, tw dollars. Dollars? Yes. You can check the 12 Go Asia. Yes, yeah, yeah. because yeah, then online it's 3,800. Yeah. Yeah. We paid 4,000, so yeah. it's almost the same. And then plus 500 delivery, 8,500. Yeah, which is the same price. Okay. Well, it's a bit hard with uh, backpacks. Yeah, if we don't have backpacks, maybe. Yeah, yeah. We they so here. Yeah, we met people in Negombo. Mm. They took unreserved seats, mm. and they said they they have to sit in the entrance. Ah, in the on the step, near, yeah. Near the door. Yeah, near the door. On the door, yeah, at the door they were yes. sitting the whole trip and it was really hard. Yes. But they didn't have backpack yeah. because they had a, a, a car ah. that was.
was uh, with their backpack, so ah, it, it's, it's it's okay, right? Yeah, yeah. They it, say it was fun. Yeah, it was okay. But with the backpack, it's better. Yeah, it's a bit nah. Uh, it would be too complicated. Too complicated. And if you want to save time planning your trip to Sri Lanka and later travel worry-free, we created a digital map with over 200 pins, including things to do, restaurants, accommodations, points of interest, trails, routes, and so much more. With this map, you will have all the information you need to travel in Sri Lanka. And guess what? It works on Android or Apple phones, as well as PCs. In bonus, you get lifetime access as well as all the future updates. So if you want to know more about our Sri Lanka travel map, we put a link in the description. The last stop before reaching Nuwaraelia was the La Bukelier Tea Factory. We received a complimentary cup of tea before doing the factory tour, which was short but interesting. A few kilometers after, we made an unexpected stop on the side of the road to be able to walk a bit in the tea plantation and then drove all the way to our accommodation in Nuwaraelia where we finally received our famous and last minute train ticket to Ella. Here is the golden ticket. Reserved third class seat. <laughs> Got last minute <laughs> for uh, the uh, train from uh, Nuara Elia to Ela. Ela. Yeah, at uh, 3.5 times the regular rate through a travel agency. But well, at least it's reserved and it's gonna be more comfortable. And now let's enjoy the welcome drink in La Grande Villa. Bye bye, Jeff. Welcome to our La Grande Villa. <laughs> in the little England of uh, Sri Lanka. And we even have a jacuzzi. A balcony. And how good it feels to be at, uh, I don't know, 20 degrees Celsius or something like that. And tomorrow we will have a Sri Lankan breakfast. Ah. Can yes. I jump? Yes. And here we are in Little England. Or Nuwara Helia. I've never been to England, but... <laughs> You've been to Little England now. It was then time to get out and explore Nuwaraelia. Ah, 
Hello. But first, we made a stop at Coffee Nocher for lunch. We then walked around town, where we stopped at the Queen Victoria Park. And here we are in Queen Victoria Park. So there is an entrance fee of 250 only for foreigners. Oh, of course, only for foreigners. 250 rupees per person. And the first impression that you have is that it's a bit smelly park. <laughs> that there is somewhere some water that uh, stinks. Yeah. Ooh, look at all the birds. Oh, well, and you see the river. No. Once out, we stopped by the post office and then a few supermarkets before heading back to our accommodation to slowly end the day. So Tina, so far, what do you think about uh, Nuwa Aelia? <laughs> well, the little neighborhood where is our uh, accommodation is the best. super nice, super quiet and... We will stay uh, here. Yeah. <laughs> then you go to the city center, wow, what a mess. It's far from the uh -huh. building. The next day, we woke up to beautiful and fresh weather. After a yummy breakfast, where we forgot to ask, not spicy, we enjoyed some coffee on our terrace. We then walked to town to visit the Gregory Park. This time the entrance ticket were 1200 rupees. Little update from uh, Nuwara Elia. <laughs> Don't come here. <laughs> no, so today, after uh, spending the day like uh, going from Candy to Nuwara Elia, 
by car. Uh, we stop here overnight. Uh, where we thought there would be something to do, but well, it's, the place is nice. I mean, it's cold. The weather is fresher, but actually there there is there isn't anything to do. I think it would be cuter because they call it Little England. Yeah. Which is nothing to do with Little England. Yeah, and I think what's left of England here it's maybe two parks and well after having seen the Royal Botanical Garden of Candy, yeah you really don't uh, I don't know. There it, the parks here are nothing much. It's really something, uh, that place like New Aurelia, it's really more for uh, locals, definitely. Yeah, it's really made for them yeah. and all the attractions and activities, yeah. uh, not for us. Yeah, <laughs> the, uh, the, the driver who drove us here yesterday said that actually locals, as soon as they can, they take a weekend, they come here because it's fresher uh, and they take kind of long weekend to rest here. And yeah, it's really made for that, not much for foreigners. And then one thing we would recommend then is that you get uh, your train from Nuwara area to Ella, which is the apparently the nicest part of the ride. Uh, you get it like at uh, 2.30 in the afternoon and then you go from Kendi to Nuwara area by car. In the morning you visit the plantation, you stop at the at the ah no at the tower yeah at the tower on the way and then you take the train and go straight to Ella and save a day actually yeah the only thing that could be nice here that we didn't do could be uh, Horton Plains that sounds nice like a hike uh, it's a national park yeah. Horton Plains and the only thing is that the hike takes apparently four hours and it's one and a half and it's hours one and a half hours yeah from here so. You need to allow yeah six to seven hours at, uh, to be able to do it, which well, seemed a, a lot to do like this morning. A bit too rushy, but yeah. uh, so we didn't do and we're now we're gonna visit the parks, but yeah. Yeah, but uh, even the lake was surrounded by like uh, people trying to sell you a boat tour. <laughs> boat tour, sir? Boat tour, madame? Jet ski? Boat tour? Uh -huh. Horse riding? No, thank you, no, thank you, no, thank you, no, thank you. But I don't think uh, even here, like, you know, even if it's called Little England, I mean, it's, there is nothing of <laughs> England in the city center. There yeah, isn't no, colonial it's, building, it's nothing. It's called Little England because of the history. Tea? Maybe also. Or at one point it was, you know, yeah. English and uh, there was some story about it and then they call it Little England. Yeah. Yeah, but through the cute, the city center is not cute at all. After, I haven't been to England. But no, I'm but sure it's much nicer than yeah, this. It doesn't look like that. <laughs> It also looked like a race was taking place in town. We then had smoothies as we still had time before our train and ended in the garden of our accommodation. Oh, and the name Little England come from the lush mountains, gushing waterfalls, wide open plains and cool climate of Nuwaraelia, closely resembling the environment of England. Naturally, the area preserved itself as a perfect alternative to the English countryside, for homesick British officials sweating in the tropical heat of coastal towns. <laughs> 